In today's video, we're going to do a cross comparison between two tools that people use to create captions, and they're known as Submagic versus the Captions app, which is used on phones. So first of all, we're going to just do a cross uh, examination. And by the way, uh, the Captions app is actually designed to be like strictly for phones. But first of all, what I want to talk about is Submagic, because Submagic is kind of like a desktop like only thing. So if we click on pricing here, Submagic is a tool. It's only on desktop, which means you're going to have to edit your stuff on like your computer. And the pricing here is $20 a month for 20 videos, which kind of boils down to a dollar per video. But if you do the $50 a month one, it's less than that. It's like going to be like 60 cents per video, which that being said to do captions on, you know, each video, if it's going to cost you 60 cents a video to use this tool, it could become a little expensive, especially if you're like editing them and then you have to do it again and, and the capture, like I've been there, done that. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll quickly show you how to use some magic. It's really kind of simple. This is where some magic wins, because if I'm being real honest with you, if you're going to be doing a lot of editing and stuff, you're going to be on a computer. Like, let's be honest, like all, all the good editors are on desktop or computer per se. So if I click on this one uh, and all you do is click on create to upload your video that you want captions on. And then this is what shows up once it has comprised. And if you go ahead and watch your video, it it has all of the captions on your video and it uses AI to do this. But what's kind of cool is you can sit here and you can edit every single word. And that's kind of what you do with these caption tools as you go through and you edit it. You can also change the styling. This is really cool. You can change the positioning. You can choose the size of the font. You know, this is where this is where I think I like this tool a little bit better because it's simpler. Um, in a minute here, I'm going to show you how the captions app works. And uh, it's just a little, it's, there's too many moving parts, to be honest with you. Submagic gets my vote in the cross comparison for the captions app versus Submagic, um, just because it's easier to use. And um, it's that simple. Like the captions app is on your phone. It's a tiny screen. Guys, and if you want to sign up for Submagic, I'll throw a link below in the description or the comments. It is my affiliate link. But now let's get into the captions app because also I know that a lot of people are doing like most of their editing on their phone and they just want to they just want to look for an easy tool to do captions on their phone. So let's do a screen record here. I'll just bring up my iPhone here. We'll pop it up on the screen. So first what you're going to do is go to the app store and get captions. Uh, sign up for that. And then it's going to be like $9.99 a month, which that means unlimited caption videos like for ten dollars a month it's it's a lot cheaper than submagic but it is a little bit clunkier so open up the app and then click on create this is where we are going to import our video and i just did this talking head voice this talking head video it asks you if you want to do a quick trim on the video uh let's go with no and then proceed with english you want to choose your native language i'm english as you can hear and then it's going to take a second to transcribe. It's going to use its special uh, AI technology to do this. And you can see how simple this is. Sometimes what happens is this app will pop up two captions. You can you can tell right here it's it's doing two of them, which I don't I don't partake in. Um, but yeah, if I I can just delete this one. And what happens here with the captions app is there's just so many moving parts with like there's just there's too much you can do honestly. So if I click this caption, actually, we'll just leave them on there, even though it's super, you know, and some people do double captions to get like tons of attention. That's kind of a new thing. And that's why they're doing this. But I, what I can do here is I can click over and then I can add emojis. I can do the templates of the captions. See, I could do like this one, click apply, and then it's a different style. And um, yeah, let's just delete this one. Delete. And now we have this one. That's weird. I just I just clicked delete. Yeah, but as you can see here, it's just it's super, it's like super kind of clunky. And there's just too much going on. Let's click on edit. Um yes. And if I, you know, as you can tell here, it's just hard to kind of figure out. I mean, we can do it's a captions app, but I can do full editing stuff like voiceovers, music, denoise, emote, like. There's, there's honestly just too much going on here, guys. And if you want to take the time to learn this, it's a lot cheaper of an option. But Submagic is hands down way easier. 
Um, this does work. It is cool. There's a lot of features in here, but I feel like the sub magic versus caption nap, like the better decision is sub magic. So, um, there'll be a link in the description in the comments. It's easier, but if you're on phone editing and you're looking for an easy app, this is probably the best option at the captions app. So take one with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So hit me up in the comments. If you have any comments, um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Sub magic versus the captions app. What is better? I will see you in the next one.